Hi, I'm Nelly. I'm Rich. We're Dead Flesh. And you're watching rockflesh.com. It's the one. Rockflesh.com coming from Bloodstock Festival 2024 and we've got Dead Flesh with us. Yes. How excited are you guys? Waking up this morning going, oh yeah, we're playing Bloodstock. A touch excited, so much so I may have woke up not on purpose at 5.30 and couldn't get back to sleep. So I decided, well, I better go out walking and, you know, managed to fit a shower in, uh, which is quite nice for a festival. Hey, so, you know, clean enough, but when I play drums, and get really sweaty again. <laughs> it's ruined. Very ne pretty nervous, actually. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are the nerves still there? Or? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Uh, excited nerves, though, so that's good. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. Is, it, is, it, is it often that you've got those kind of, like, nerves, but, like, before going out yeah. for a big gig? I mean, for one like this, <laughs> it's because it's we're playing a bed song, yeah, this is, yeah, the, this is yeah. the nervous one. It's just another gig. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> totally. Pressure. <laughs> Pressure, yeah. So when you're thinking about um, the set that you'll do today, do you take into account that it's Bloodstock and that, uh, maybe a different crowd or do you just go right we want to get across us to the crowd no matter what kind of yeah thing. I, I think I think yeah just getting across like, we're gonna be doing the same set that we did for Metal Masses so it's because uh, we you know we nailed it like we know exactly what, yeah yeah exactly yeah <laughs> but it's also exactly what you just said there which it is us so if you're gonna see a snapshot of us for the first time that's the set that gives you everything about us. yeah yeah Oh, now, how would you describe oh, your music record, yeah. to someone who doesn't know? Watching sharp well, in the in the words of uh, the 2000s poet Christina Aguilera, I would say dirty and filthy. Dirty. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> and or you filthy. could say you're in a bottle or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, definitely within the deathcore yep. area, but we are quite. Chris, who's on the guitar, is very experimental. And so as much as I'll be like, oh yeah, we'll do some heavy riff now. He'll be like, that's a heavy riff for about two weeks. And then it will just vehemently change to something else. But it's amazing, I love it. Uh, so it's just when he makes the magic happen. So it's a perfect example then of like different influences, different ideas feeding into the songs. It's rather than like one person writing the song. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Nelly's big on uh, death metal. Oh, yeah. I love so death metal. There's a lot of death metal in there. I mean, so am I, but uh, yeah, I guess on those vocals and stuff. Yeah. So there's a, uh, yeah different range of stuff that we have. Nice variety. Yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely yeah. brings a lot of vocal, different vocal sounds, so you're not just going, go, 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 go. There's, there's a nice, I mean, I love the gutter sound. I mean, I, uh, me too. I <laughs> grew up with Death Rock, uh, with Deer Science, yeah. so you know, yeah, yeah. I love that sound. Yeah. But you'll then play around with all sorts of different vocal techniques, and so it's it's not just stuck in one. No, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, that, and then that's what's going to set you apart. Obviously, you know, uh, from other bands, yeah, yeah. Uh, just kind of doing the bog standard, you know, being able to change it up, people will know it's you, you know, that's, that's the key, yeah. that's the key. Um, so the writing, recording and live kind of processes, which do you find the most enjoyable and which do you find the most satisfying? Ooh. For me, definitely the live. I'm all about all about playing the shows. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. It's just, that's where all the all the energy is, and where the uh, I, I think uh, yeah, I feel like a more of a performer than a yeah. Uh, which I, I prefer. Yeah, um, but the satisfaction. It is really nice when a song comes to get. It's like finalised, and and uh, we're like rehearsing it, and and it works really well. Oh, especially and then when we play it, you get a really good reaction. So release into the wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's that's like, very yeah, sad. It's grown up. Yeah, yeah, you know? like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. What's the most frustrating <laughs> stage? Is it the writing or the recording? I would definitely say writing. In the, and it's not that it's a bad frustration. I love the fact that we. It's a little bit different with what I've done with this band compared yep. to other ones. But we will literally go in a room, sometimes with no ideas, and then jam, and then take that away. So you go, okay, that's cool, and that was a great day. But a week later, you've changed your mind, but other people might not have changed their mind, and you now have to convince them, or they have to convince you, and it's a bit of a struggle. But yeah. then you then get another week later, and suddenly you're back on the same page again. So <laughs> through that frustration, you actually do get to the really satisfactory point, but it can be really frustrating when you're butting heads with everybody in the band, and you go, do we even like each other anymore? <laughs> 
<laughs> but I can't believe you like that, Rick. So we've got plenty of questions where we can look for band divisions. It's fine. <laughs> Actually, speaking of which, <laughs> if we were, if you were to do a biopic, but look, biopic of your band, who would you have playing you in the film? Each of you. You can, you can answer for each other if you yeah. want. I know. I know who I would have. I. I don't know. Somebody, somebody awkward and introverted, I would imagine. <laughs> for yeah, me, I'm, but I'm, I'm I, thinking about it because I know for yeah. me, Jim Carrey would probably be perfect. Oh, the same level yeah, of energy, absolutely. the same level of crazy, cool. yeah. the same level of saying stuff. People going, I'm not sure what you said, <laughs> repeating it, and they're going, still haven't got it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that energy. So would fundamentally, be there. wouldn't need to act. No, just no, be him. <laughs> he would be him, and that by proxy would be me. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Um, okay, here's a related one for the T-shirt. If you could pick a wrestler to walk out to any of your songs, which wrestler would it be, and which song? Okay. Okay, that's an interesting question. That's a very interesting question. Who would I think of them? Uh, we do know that AEW, WWE do watch rockflesh.com, so they will be rightly so. You know, rightly you know. so. Vince never used to, but you know. But now the Triple H is taking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think for me, actually, I'd really love to have seen Zoe Stark because uh, she's already got a banging theme tune. Yeah, yeah. But I think if she used Bodies Upon Bodies, that would be a much better theme tune as far as I'm concerned. And she would be ready for it because she brings the hell, the fire, the thunder. And she needs the music of the thunder. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. We'll, we'll make dreams come true. We'll make dreams come true. I want that dream. I want that dream to come true. Yeah. Zoe Stark, please do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as a band, if you could collaborate with anyone, who would you like to collaborate with? Ooh, that's a good question, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I feel like the obvious answer would be some sort of, you know, similar genre of deathcore icon or whatever. Um, but I suppose it would be, you know, to maybe something, somebody really different. Yeah. I can't. I can't think of who. But that's a very good question. Know, yeah. yeah. Somebody Christina really off the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Christina Christina Aguilera. Aguilera, yeah. I, I also really like Status Quo. So I'd be happy yeah, to see yeah. if we can make something work yeah. there. Yeah, Another a big uh, Charlie XCX fan. Yeah. I think she'd be into. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Up for a, a, a deathcore track. It's a you know. way of getting out to a different audience as well. Absolutely. Isn't it? So, yeah. yeah. It's also that when you blend the different genres, if you can find the right spot, that's interesting. So as much as it would be fun to work with somebody within our same genre, I would be well up for working with somebody outside. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I think, I think that's fun. a good call. That's a good yeah. call. Okay, um, if you, if if Dead Flesh were a drink, <laughs> what drink would you be and why? I, I think somebody asked this back at camp or something. They were like, what what drink would would the bands be? And I think I. So I was reaching my question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, someone's <laughs> watching our content. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're so good. <laughs> I thought if, if we were a sludge band, we'd be like soup, like lumpy yeah. soup. <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> but no, I think we'd be yeah. some kind of energy drink. Lucas probably. Lucas Lu 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 like Only because I love Lucas I don't want to say Monster. Uh, 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 Lucas Orange. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a relentless, yeah, the energy yeah. drink. Endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got songs yeah. for you. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay. Um, are you angry or just disappointed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In in general, or <laughs> I, both, to be honest. <laughs> angry and disappointed. Yeah. Disappointed. Yeah. Disappointingly angry or angrily disappointed. I, 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 yeah, both. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I'm nowhere near either of those at the moment, only because I saw Deer Side yesterday uh, and Rotting Christ the day before. So that's, I'm in a, a euphoric true. high. Okay. It's all out. Yeah. It's just yeah. everything is great. Yeah. At the moment. I mean, if the question was about life in general, then certainly both. But uh, as of right now, as of yes, right now, as of right now, I'm, I, yeah, I feel great. He's like, neither, neither. Yes, yeah, that's a great band. That's the right answer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at Bloodstock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ask, ask when the Bloodstock, post Bloodstock Blues here. Yeah. And I'm angry and disappointed. Yeah, on a Tuesday, it's like, oh, yeah. give me some more of those yeah, adjectives. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's brilliant. Anything, anything. Um, okay, so what can we expect from you guys over the next 12 months? Titanic or the note? Definitely you're gigs. A, you're allowed to tell us. Definitely <laughs> gigs. Gigs will happen. Cool. At, at the end of the month, we'll be playing in uh, Banbury. Uh, there's island dates being lined up for November. Just do a quick run over there. Nice. Uh, we are writing with the idea to record for something for next year and we'll see if that 
if that comes together. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. the frustration we mentioned earlier is now exactly. <laughs> in, exactly. engaged, so we'll just see if anything comes of it. And if it does, brilliant. But we signed up with EMG Management uh, last yeah. year, or last month even, and they're now helping give us some ideas and we'll just see if we can yeah. make things happen. Nice one. Awesome. So, plenty more to come from you guys. That's Absolutely. the key. Yeah. So, uh, including the photos, the review of you guys later that we'll be running, as well as the interview, as well as all the other photos and reviews. So we start using exactly. our song. Exactly. Theme well, tune. guess who we've got? <laughs> If only, if only we could, <laughs> if only we could. But yeah, get along to rockfest.com to catch all of our content. Catch these guys when you can. But thank you once again. The play!